welcome to next lesson of premiere pro now in this lesson uh, let's start by creating a new project right you can see here new project or you can do file new project right remember that you can go to file new project or you can do new project from here also so you have a video clip uh, right for example uh, you visited uh, some new place right then you captured some video footage now you are trying to edit that right so we have to get that video here in our premiere right so at first create a new project click that now you can see here name of the project right for example if 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 you visited uh, somewhere uh, in new location right then give name according to that if you if you have the video footage of the wedding then uh, give a name depending upon that right just uh, what i'm trying to uh, tell you is don't leave it untitled right give a name for example we are giving name lesson 2 right and you can see her location where to save that right where to save that project right you can click here browse right browse you can click that I will make a new folder here new folder now uh, the e right only then select folder right select folder then you will get the location here right and do ok so this is called work space right this is called work space and I am right now I am in editing section here you can see we can change it right we can go to color section then you will get different workspace right you can go to effects then you will see that workspace changes its layout right so let's keep it at editing right if you if you are not in editing here then please click that so this is the workspace for example at first I want to show you something uh, just uh, think that this one is not here right it is gone for example like this right so it's not the default workspace right it's not the default workspace click on windows here right workspace then click reset to saved layout or we have shortcut key also alt plus shift plus zero right click that then you'll get your workspace back that is called going back to default workspace of Premiere Pro when you go on working on Premiere Pro then you may face this kind of issue uh, at that point just go to Windows workspace and reset to save layout right so you are seeing here different panels right here program right this one when you click any of them right when you click that then you'll see this uh, blue square type right rectangle type a boundary right and when you click this one you are seeing here when you click here you will see these lines right so it make sure that where you have clicked right this is program no sequence till now and you can see here timeline no sequences right this is timeline and this is our project panel right project lesson 2 you are seeing here so look here import media to start it means that the videos that we want to edit the audio images right the text we create right everything goes here right remember this one so we'll navigate to these sections later on right for now just remember that import media to start drop media look here drop media here to create a sequence right Similarly, you can see here source, no clips, right? If a control panel, right? Audio clip mixer, metadata, right? So, these are different panels in Premiere Pro. And you can see here some tools are present here, right? This is selection tool, right? This is track select for what tool, right? This is ripple edit tool. This is razor tool, right? So, these are the tools we are going to use, right? In Premiere Pro, we will use that one by one right okay this was it in this lesson stay tuned for next lesson thank you very much for watching